Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm here to talk to you about this remote system right here. This will work with uh, any system that has a ProFlame 2 control module in it. Uh, here we have the complete ProFlame 2 remote system. There is a basic and a standard ProFlame remote. So if yours looks similar like this, but you don't have all of the features we're gonna go over today, don't worry, just skip right past them. It still will work for your system, just without every single feature we have on display today. So, what do the buttons do on this? This top button here is our main power button. The button right underneath it is the thermostat button. The circular button here, we have an up and down arrow. And the bottom, this is our little scrolling wheel. So we can see on the screen here, the thermostat is off. The flame icon is illuminated and it says high on the remote. And that tells us that we are on the highest flame setting the system has to offer. While the flame icon is illuminated, we can use our up and down arrows to adjust the height of the flame. We get these bars that go up and down depending upon where we are pushing on the arrows. So that's all the way down at the bottom and we'll go all the way back up to high. So we're gonna use our scroll wheel next to go over. This is now the fan icon. This particular system does not have a fan installed in it, but if yours does and you have this option, you can use the up and down arrows to increase or decrease the speed in which the fan will run. Continuing over on our scroll wheel, we're next gonna go over to the light setting. That's what this little light bulb is for. And if your system has lights in it, you can again use your up and down arrows to increase or decrease the illumination settings of that light. We go over to the next step. This, if your appliance has the option for a dual burner, you would be able to select on. This appliance that we have on display today does not have a dual burner, so we're not gonna see another one show up. Hitting the scroll wheel one final time will bring us to auxiliary. I know auxiliary power is on. You can shut that off again with your up and down arrows, depending upon where it is. You would use this if your system had a secondary 120 volt outlet and you wanted to wire in, I don't know, Christmas lights or something and decorate your fireplace. You would be able to turn those lights on and off through that auxiliary switch, which again is right there. If we push the scroll wheel one more time, we go right back to the beginning where the flame icon is lit up. Now we're gonna talk about the thermostat. So if we push this thermostat button one time, we're gonna see that off is going to go to on. And now in the center here, we have the number 81. This big number is our desired temperature and the 73 in the upper right hand corner is the temperature that the remote is reading in the room as the remote is the thermostat. When you see these numbers, these big numbers here displayed, you can use your up and down arrows to adjust the desired temperature wherever you would like. If you choose to use the thermostat mode, I always recommend pushing the thermostat button one more time. So instead of saying on, it says smart. The difference between on and smart uh, is mainly, it mainly has to do with fuel efficiency. So I'm gonna use the analogy of driving your car because everyone will understand that. When the thermostat is just in the on position, that is as though you would drive your car with the gas pedal all the way down to the floor absolutely speeding around until you needed to slam on the brakes to stop. Smart mode is like how you actually would drive your car. A slow, steady acceleration up to the necessary speed, or in this case, heat setting, and then a slow, gradual deceleration until you come to a complete stop or the system reaches its desired temperature and turns off. So smart mode is going to save you quite a bit of gas. Can't recommend it enough. Pushing the thermostat button a third time will shut the thermostat off. High or whatever setting you have the heat set to will then be displayed along with the flame icon being illuminated to let you know you are in control. Now the only other thing on this remote I haven't addressed yet is this little snowflake icon right here. In order for me to show you what that is, we're actually gonna have to turn the system off. So we'll push our power button. There we go, turns the system off. Now this only works while the fireplace is off. While it's off, you hit your scroll wheel to show its other function, which will then display either CPI, or if we use our up and down arrow here, IPI. Now this stands for intermittent pilot ignition, and this stands for continuous pilot ignition. So intermittent pilot, this one, 
will mean that the pilot light in the appliance is off and will only turn on when you turn the appliance on. If you have it in CPI, which is continuous pilot ignition, then the pilot will be running all the time and you will see this little snowflake icon. When it is in intermittent pilot mode, the snowflake will not be there. 